today we are going to discuss the last part of our buccal cavity and that is known as the tongue okay if you see the structure of the tongue then there is a structure known as the sulcus terminalis or you can call it a sulci terminalis and this sulci terminalis or the septum like structure divides the tongue into two parts right this is the posterior part of the tongue which is one third part which is also called as the pharyngeal part of the tongue and this part is called as the oral part of the tongue it is also called as the anterior part and it forms a two third part of the tongue okay so we are discussing the tongue and on the floor of the buccal cavity or we can say it as on the floor of the oral cavity a muscular flat fleshy plate like structure is found and this fleshy structure is called as the tongue and you must remember this thing that the anterior end anterior end means this end this is the posterior end anterior end of the tongue is basically free and this posterior part of the tongue is attached to a tongue bone and that tongue bone is called as the hyoid bone this bone is called as what the hyoid bone okay now as i have said you that ventral surface of the tongue ventral surface of the tongue is connected to the floor of the buccal cavity the ventral surface of the tongue see this is the ventral part this is the dorsal part say for so the ventral surface of the tongue is connected to the floor of the buccal cavity by a membranous ligamentous structure or a fold which is called as the frenulum lingui which is called as frenulum lingui if you turn or if you fold your tongue a thread like a structure is seen at the bottom of your tongue which is called as the frenulum lingui okay and the tongue is divided into two parts by a v shaped sulcus by a v shaped sulcus called as the sulcus terminalis and just now i have said that because of which the tongue is divided into two parts the posterior one third part and the anterior two third part posterior part is called as pharyngeal part anterior part is called as the oral part okay and one thing more that tongue consists of the muscles two types of the muscles are present extrinsic muscle and the intrinsic muscle how many types of muscles are there two types of the muscles extrinsic and intrinsic now this extrinsic muscle found in the tongue helps in outward and inward movement of the tongue the outward and the inward movement of the tongue is done with the help of the extrinsic muscles while the intrinsic muscles are helpful in change of the shape of the tongue okay so we can say it is that tongue is a muscular structure okay now the very important thing which is found on the tongue is the papilla okay if we talk about the human beings then three types of the papillas are found okay though we have discussed here the four type of the papillas but uh, just now we will say that only three types of the papillas are there in the human beings and one type of the papilla discussed here is not found at all in the human beings so three types of papillas are found and in these papillas gustatory gustatory means taste receptors are present in these papilla what are present taste receptors are present or the gustatory receptors are present in the form of what the taste buds in the form of taste buds now the three types of the papillas which are found on the human tongue are the fungiform papilla the filiform papilla and the circumvallate papilla how many types fungiform papilla filiform papilla and circumvallate papilla now the very first are the fungiform papilla if you see here especially at the anterior part of the tongue especially at the anterior part of the tongue then the fungiform papillas are found these fungiform papillas are pink colored remember these fungiform papillas are pink colored they are small in size they are round means they are spherical and prominently found at the tip of the tongue or the anterior part of the tongue it's not necessary that they are only found on the tip they are found on the other parts of the tongue also but especially they are more in number at the anterior part of the tongue okay now if you see at the center if you see at the center of the tongue 
then the filiform papillas are found now filiform papillas are conical in shape fungiform papilla were spherical in shape they are conical in shape they are thread like they are white colored and remember one thing that the filiform papillas are the most numerous type of the papillas which are found on the tongue these dot like structure these dot like structure are representing the filiform papilla but these papillas are devoid of any taste buds these papillas are devoid of any taste buds and they are present especially they are present in more quantity at the center of the tongue okay and coming to the last one the succumulate papilla if you see the succumulate papilla which are located just near the sulcus terminalis they are least in number they are just only 8 to 12 in number they are the largest type of the papillas and found near the sulcus terminalis so these were the three types of the papillas found on the human tongue fungiform papilla filiform papilla and the succumulate papilla and the last type of the papilla which are shown here uh, on the sides of on the posterior sides of the tongue which are called as a foliate papilla means they are leaf like papilla hence they are called as a foliate papilla but they are absent in the human beings or we can say this they are vestigial in the human beings okay they are not having any particular function fine so this was all about the tongue now let's talk about the functions of the tongue so the main function the main function of the tongue is the reception of taste the main function of the tongue is the reception of the taste various type of the taste such as the sweet salt sour bitter different types of the taste the reception of the taste is just and just because of the tongue not only this the tongue is helpful in the speech we know very well that when we speak right then our tongue shows movement with the palate and because of which we are able to give the speech or we are able to talk properly right so we can say it is that the tongue is helpful in the speech also it helps in the mixing of the food with the saliva we know very well that salivary glands are found in our buccal cavity so salivary glands uh, release the saliva and that uh, uh, the masticated food is mixed up with the saliva okay uh, so this even mixing of the food with the saliva is done with the help of the tongue and uh, it helps to remove the food particles also which are somehow uh, fixed in the teeth okay whenever the food is fixed in the teeth you will see that your tongue will go there and will try to remove that food particle okay so these are the functions of the tongue today uh, we have completed by this video we have completed the entire oral cavity uh, just uh, we have not discussed till now the salivary glands in the next video we'll be discussing about the salivary glands also uh, but uh, we have discussed the teeth we have discussed the tongue okay we have discussed the palate okay in the next video i will be coming with uh, the salivary glands so just wait for that video thanks a lot for watching me